I have to get better at making YouTube videos. I just have to kind of point, shoot, and do it. I've been putting this off for a little bit because I haven't really been able to figure out what the issue actually is. It's just with the downpipe or with the flap or if there's any way to keep it open. But nonetheless, is this guy letting me go? Yes, he is. The actuators on my X3M have failed completely. They seem to just be opening and closing whenever they feel like it, which is great. That's great. It's not great, sarcasm. It's terrible, and there's no actual way to open it up. I must not be the only person dealing with this issue currently. There's a lot of people out there that are rocking the LCI F97 platform and the F98 platform on the X4, and most likely are dealing with this issue if they're running down pipes or even just an aftermarket mid pipe. The minute that I removed the secondary catalytic converters and the resonator, I noticed that the muffler was acting a little funny. It was vibrating a little bit. Nothing to be too concerned with, except on that horrible, horrible cold start. It's very aggravating that the cold start on this car resets every time you basically turn the ignition all the way off and cycle through, lock the car. I could walk inside a store for five minutes and then come back outside and then cold start. So that's very obnoxious. Something that I've been considering is cracking open the ECU and putting a tune on the car. But uh, we all know as BMW owners, the risks that come with doing something like that on a brand new car. I'm considering if I want to take it that far, I'm not really sure. This car is amazing. The S58 platform has been really, really exciting to play around with. And I'm super torn because I really want to see what it's like to crack it open and tune it and make it fast, faster than it already is, which it's, it's amazing to me, the cars that I've kept up with, with being completely bone stock, but with just bolt-ons. I'm extremely impressed by the RK Tunes intakes. It's woken the car up completely and turned it into a new vehicle. Putting front mount intakes on the S58 platform is probably one of the coolest things that you can do. When you're changing out the exhaust pieces and things like that, the muffler seems to fail. It's not reacting well. Holy Catless VRS at downpipes, which is what I had on my M550. So far, I have yet to be disappointed with that. Going it very much. The muffler's completely shot. It's vibrating like a tin can. I have an aftermarket system on the way, which I'll be documenting that too. But the lack of videos on the X3 has really just been that I've not been happy with the exhaust note. I'm a big exhaust note perfectionist type person. I don't like it to sound bad. If you look back at some of my other videos throughout the last like two years, I've been very, very, very critical and specific on how I want the car to sound. Like around a residential area, I like it to sound pretty quiet for the most part and then only sound like hell when I'm on the highway. Some of the thoughts and opinions on what you can do to resolve this issue have been, well, you can just change out the, the flap or you can unplug it and uh, the actuator will stay open. What I'm seeing being an issue here is that even with the actuator completely unplugged, it doesn't seem to really matter very much. It doesn't really seem to be a good medium point at this point. It's just broken, which sucks because at first I thought there was some hope watching a few other videos from a few other people throughout the years that have had this issue with simply unplugging it and tying off the end of the uh, the electrical wire that connects to the actuator with some electrical tape that's outdoor friendly. It was okay and it was cheap and it was easy and it, you know, I wouldn't really mind leaving it open all the time because it's not, even with it open and having a giant muffler on the back, it's not so bad. But at this point, it's very bad. And my friends were driving behind me yesterday and they could not talk about anything else besides how bad it sounded. So that was great. So I'm sure you hear that ticking. Not good. And the interesting thing about this is that right now, supposedly the exhaust flap is open. Now I might be completely in the wrong here and I'm doing everything wrong. So please correct me in the comments if I'm an idiot, I, I will take it proudly. But this button, it seems on these newer models really does nothing. The ticking is still there. Doesn't really matter. This this doesn't really seem to do much for me. I have M, M2 set as, uh, yes, now it's open, right? So if you listen to it now, it's a little bit different. It's quite, it's not as putrid, it's not as annoying, but this is with everything in, in track full send. That sounds a lot better in idle. It'll stay open at idle, but then if we hit it, you'll start to hear it rattling when I hit a, just a smidge of acceleration, which is really aggravating.
took over, I'm gonna put it into daily mode, right? So this is supposedly with the exhaust valve closed. figure this thing out besides just saying that the actuators are completely screwed on this car right now those are gonna have to be dealt with but for now I've just been driving around leaving the valves closed for the most part because it hides that rattling enough I guess you can get through that with just the sound of the sweet RK tune front mount intake some of the other stuff I did was the IND side markers paint match with the Marina Bay blue we did a front track pack coverage with the front nose of the car from EMS they did a PPF that went up to here definitely worthy on this big girl because already before I got a giant chip right there and that was from you know only a couple hundred miles really that that did that damage pretty quickly and as you guys probably know broke a windshield too so that was cool oh man one thing about the fall I hate is this oh, it's so annoying those back there. Let me tell you, the BMW is so well insulated from the interior side of things that I cannot really hear the rattling too bad. So it all sounds well and good, even from here. There's not much of a hint of rattling, and even when it's on that very low RPM, I'm most of the time I have the radio on, I can't notice it. It wasn't really until my friends pointed it out to me, and they took a few videos of me pulling by, and I'm like, wow, that's really bad. Hopefully, the new exhaust system should be here by the end of the month. <laughs> big downside to falls that I just had this cleaned. Oh, I do not like the fall at all. Aside from that, all well and good. Gonna have to change these very soon. Some motor work, big kappa, of course, choppy motor. I just have to get better at just picking the camera up and making some movies. The biggest things that deters me is just because of all the nature of things that we do with our cars. It's very difficult to get a clean shot. It's very difficult to get something that I actually want to film. And it's very difficult for me to be in the right environment and have it not be just rudely illegal. There's really no other way to put it. I love my drone. I love my drone shots. But man, it's kind of a hassle to set up, especially when you're rocking by yourself all the time, taking these videos 24 seven, sending this up in the air. It gets a little daunting. Go fly. Hoping my drone's ability to just kind of like coast and not go anywhere will work and I'll send it up and I'll point this camera down right at me and get a shot of the car rolling by, but I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't drift into the building. We'll see what happens. Let's see how this aerial shot works out. The drone's up there and uh, we're doing this from the car right here because you know, I'm by myself. So um, let's see what we get.
Yep, we did it. Look at that.